Assalamualaikum and very good morning. Welcome back to our lesson Wildlife Reading Activity page 34. Okay, our objective today, by the end of this lesson, pupils will be able to read and understand the text. First activity. Look the name of animals in the box. You can choose which animal do you think are ugly. You can choose more than one. Okay, now for second activity, we need to read and listen to the text. Please be ready. The blobfish isn't the most beautiful fish on the planet. And it isn't the most common. It's a dull colour and you don't usually see it because it lives 1,000 metres under the seas near Australia. But now the blobfish is famous because people say that it's the ugliest animal in the world. There are photos and articles about it in magazines and on the internet. This is really good for the blobfish and for other ugly animals. But why? Every year, thousands of species of animals become extinct. We often see information about the most interesting, the most beautiful and the most colourful, such as whales, butterflies or pandas. But some of the ugliest animals are also some of the rarest, and they also need our help. On lists of the world's ugliest animals, the blobfish is often number one, but there are other fantastic creatures on the lists. For example, the monkey with the biggest nose, the proboscis monkey, and the frog with the weirdest face, the purple frog. Are they really ugly? No. They're interesting and rare. The best idea is to protect all animals. Exercise 1. Check the meaning of the words in blue in sentences 1 until 3. Then read the text. Which sentences does the writer agree with? Okay, next activity, you need to read and listen to the text again and write true or false. Now, let's check the meaning of the words in blue in the text. Beautiful. Pretty. Pretty. Common. Not rare. Not rare. Dull. Lacking brightness and vividness. Colorful. Having much or varied colors. Rare. Not found in large number. 
Okay, for your exercise today, you need to do exercise 1, 2 and 3, page 34. You can do this exercise in your English blue book. Thank you. See you again. Bye.